good morning to our indian colleagues can you see us and hear us well so we can see you and we can hear you well. very good so greetings from mount sinai uh, cat lab for our uh, meet the masters and uh, it's a little change in the program case the case which we showed earlier uh, in the our email e blast uh, changed because that patient uh, had some family issues so could not come but we got equally challenging and very interesting case and i see that all our uh, faculty uh, rahul uh, prashad and uh, suresh and sanjeev gorav all uh, will go through this uh, case discussion and very interesting case so with that note myself uh, dr kini and my two fellows uh, here uh, our pratish Prashant. and uh, pratish. mera elena and uh, rest of the staff you'll see uh, along with the uh, imaging with kiski so let's go and slide presentation uh, so we can uh, get to uh, our uh, uh, case this is today we will be talking about the high definition i was guided pci and anything workflow with ai guidance and we'll show some data of the ai and dr kini will give the lecture on this uh, uh, part uh, basically the same uh, disclosure this is a 65 year old this is our live case number 15 patient was fine few weeks ago he started having onset class 2 angina positive stress test for multi vessel ischemia only this factors were hypertension and hyperlipid controlled and you see those a1c ldl crp and creatinine no prior cardiac history and patient is on double was on metoprolol added amlodipine after the stress test and on double uh, anti platelet uh, anti um, lipid therapy uh, cat was done on 27th which will reveal two vessel and left main um and uh, multiple lesions ejection fraction normal uh, syntax score 28 sts was 1.2 recommended cabbage but because of the family concern because of the uh, bad experience with the uh, close family patient declined and here for the pci of our imaging guided particularly the left main which is uh, moderate so we can show uh, uh, anup if you can pause for one minute okay so now we are here lv is good a uh, yeah. little bit of uh, anterolateral hypo okay, okay. then yeah. this is the right coronary sorry show the angiogram no they did not go to the angio go back to the angio please so, so ed yeah, yeah. edp we are going to show it one second one second uh, good the angio right here yeah, yeah. edp was normal yep uh, so when you know you have to do rotation laterectomy it's always good to have a fluid status of the patient normal ef normal edp means uh, immediately our nurse will uh, gives bolus fluid and fluid is uh, going in this is the right coronary artery if you see that the mid after the rv branch is a significant calcific uh, disease so um i don't know if you really need imaging but of course you'll see tram track calcium with mid and uh, so after that disease almost in the, after the acute marginal distal rc here look at the flow yeah. give me two flow and this is the left side that was a picture without dye to show the calcium so moderate left main and that's where i think we are having a discussion the, that something that we need to interrogate with the imaging uh, is left main significant or not you could call 3050 circ is non obstructive and uh, here heavily calcified prox lad mid lad disease and then there is a moderate size diagonal distal lad again 50% disease there some calcium this is where we are with the left side and i'll take we'll take the vote by our panel that whether l left main will be less than 5.5 or 6 on iwas which will show so anyway what did you do so far so a right coronary um, i think was decide, decided we'll do it offline so this is a guide picture now if anybody tells me that they want to go good guide support they want to go with the uh, al not a bad choice but uh, we went with the lima guide you see there and same this is not you cannot do primary wiring of this kind of the, uh, lesion so you will have to go with your micro catheter so we always like fine cross so whatever micro catheter you use all uh, try fielder first so this was the fielder and we were uh, let me so this is the fielder you see that and as i'm dewiring also i have called for the next wire because i was wondering we may need a specialty wire so miracle 3 you don't need a um, you know wire with a lot of a tip load miracle 3 uh, i had called but did not open because we were able to 
navigate the lesion with the fielder wire. Or now could be GAIA2, or this could be the GAIA2 case also. You, you, need, you, need, a curve. you yeah. need a better curve, so yeah. GAIA2 could take you subintimal. So let us just go back here and you understand. So you could tell me that yeah, if I had had AL, probably I had a better support and would have been able to uh, cross the lesion with the microcatheter. So if you see here, so if you see the next, so the microcatheter is at the lesion. So even when you do your corkscrew movement forward movement with the fine cross, it would not go forward. But I know I am in the lesion. So what you do next is you take out your fielder wire and you take the rotor wire and you know you with the rotor wire you are able to go into the vessel. So so when this kind of uh, situation happens, you know it's significant disease uh, there. Okay, I'm sure. If somebody says, no, I would have image first, the IVAS catheter will not go there. We are having so much trouble, I will tell you, even with the balloon later on to go down. There's no way IVAS catheter would have gone. And when you have that kind of a tight disease, you won't even able to do OCT because there will be no flow distally. So um, would we have, do we do 1.25 bar or do we do 1.5 bar in the, uh, at this time? Because we have to open a bar now. You tell me what you did. So remember, our plan always is that if you cannot cross with the microcatheter, go with a 1.25. Yeah. Uh, always, because you'll be safe. Although you can use short lesion, could go with 1.5. But we always teach if you could not cross with a microcatheter, maybe at that area you are subintimal. Whatever the region is, a very tight calcific lesion, go with a 1.25, which will be the safest. Um. We became a little heroic in the or sense that it was a short lesion right. yeah. and we decided let's do 1.5 because yeah. if we are not able to really take care of that tight lesion of the calcium, we will need additional uh, something to do, take care of that area. So we did 1.5. That's what it is. And I don't think I'd seen it that. Uh -huh. um, so this is what happens after the rotational atherectomy. You see that? This is after the 1.5 bar. Yep. Then dilating with a 3 -oh balloon. Yeah, this was a 3 -oh we had already opened. So this is what I'm trying to say. This, uh, Despite rotational atherectomy, now this is a 3 -oh 20 high pressure balloon. And I'm having difficulty even to get the balloon down there. So that's what I was trying to tell you that imaging catheter would not have made the turn. So uh, what you do in that situation is pull the balloon back into the guide just reorient your guide wire and uh, many of the time what happens is that you've done rotational atherectomy you probably now you have done ablation of that uh, calcific area a little bit of uh, you know you have now split open that uh, atherosclerotic calcific atherosclerotic plaque and you are not able to actually now you know get the balloon down there and also be ready that when you have some difficulty like this balloon could rupture also so we went up to 22 atmospheres. So you see here, angiographically, nice expansion. What I'm trying to teach her is we did not use imaging so far in this case um, based on that. Suppose angiographically we saw that that area did not expand very well. Of course, then we will say, okay, image and then decide what you want to do next. The, we were able to do that and we put a, we could not get a 48 stent, which you know, the balloon itself had so much trouble. We knew the stent would not go. So we had to use the help of a Godzilla. So same, the Godzilla would not go further, go with the balloon, dilate, advance on the balloon. And then we have the 48 stent and well expands. Look at the expansion. This is a synergy stent. And this is why, where we are. Mm -hmm. This is where we are now. Okay, so now we are not post dilated and we are going to imaging and you tell us, uh, let's get our panel discussion on this side first, then we'll go to the left. Uh, that do you think will require some touch up? I think it, at a seven o'clock position, uh, uh, both uh, nine and seven, we'll find a very tight lumen, uh, maybe less than five millimeter square. And we have to post dilate with a 3.25. Uh, pre was done with a 3.0, this is a 3.0 stent. Uh, and uh, we'll see now. Pacemaker was placed because of such a calcific. Although we said that you want to avoid pacemaker, you can always give IV aminophilin and atropine. Uh, but this case was not needed. Okay, uh, so but, we are ready. Yeah. Yeah, okay, we show. Have the, are we go. Right. I was. Okay, can, uses, I, uh, can I stop?
Yeah, we are in. Uh, yeah. Okay, start to work. And so we kind are of start this doing a four millimeter. Legion. Yeah, edge is good. Yeah, looks works, man. Start with shape. A lot of custom behind the stand, but area looks good. Area is excellent. Yeah, we didn't cover the osteo, but uh, we didn't miss any region, so yeah. you can take it out. Okay. So this is Avigo Plus. I check the distal. So let's first. make the Arvas on the main screen for a few minutes. Yeah, good. Yeah, so now I check the first of the distal edge. So yep. this is exactly a distal edge, like well expanded, well opposed. And, and go, plus go. the placing of the strength, you see that? We are not in the lesion. I know it's diffusely diseased vessel, but just at the distal edge, um, it's almost, uh, we, we could say there is uh, no plug. Yep, it's a native uh, plug, yep. but uh, it's a no edge dissection. Yes. And uh, check the plug small edge. Yeah, here Look is Look at also the MSA, 7.8. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It says so that this is automatically like AI generated. The MSA, yeah. it says 6.0 more than 5.5. So yeah. it's an optimal result. And uh, no age complications. The question is, should you push the eyelid or no? Based on the image, no need. Yeah. I mean, angiographically also, I would not have. But here, go to that, um, come, uh, uh, come, uh, proximal, proximal. Sure. Okay, keep coming, keep coming, keep coming, keep coming. Okay, keep coming. Okay, right there, right there, right there, right there. No, but uh, that's the shape of the vessel. Vessel, yeah. yeah. I think we should leave this alone. All right. So I'm okay with that. You know, I'm actually uh, probably of the uh, the busy interventionist. My post dilatation is only 50, 60 percent, uh, just because a lot of pre. Uh, but I know. Let's ask our panel so that would they post dilate now after this imaging? Sanjeev. And then mm -hmm. you can take through uh, with our other panelists, yeah. Yes, 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 sir. Although, although uh, stand took uh, very well opposed, well expanded, uh, but in the last quarter, distal one third of the stand looks a little under on the your longitudinal. Uh, I was uh, proximal, region. proximal, distal, distal saying, distal part. Uh, yeah, distal, yeah, distal one third, and the proximal, mid and proximal looks fairly well expanded. Yeah, but. Uh, by Ivers, distal part is also area is like looks more than six, one or seven. So area wise, it's a good expansion. So, but Mean, some part, uh, it's true. Yeah. Some kind Means of extension. Ivers wise, every area is more than 6.6, .6, uh, yep. five plus. Yep. So leave it. That's okay. I'm completely fine. Done. Let's go to the left side. Okay. Now we are going to image. Now the, let's go to the second part. If everybody is okay, we'll take a last picture. Uh, and uh, with a low magnification, I always say take the low mag. Um, we can take the pacemaker out now. So take the pacemaker out. So unnecessarily we don't need. Leave it. Give a little Have nitro. It, you leave no, it, give some please. vasodilators first. No, take the pacemaker out. You don't need. Yeah, good. Give vasodilator, and then the question: Will the left is the left main significant? Both. Clean, clean, clean. No, I know. Opinion from but we know borderline. Now we had to be yes or no. Yes means let's say 5.5 .5 minus or 5.5 .5 plus millimeter square, and we'll show it on the IRS uh, online. I'll say less than 5.5. Okay. It, might, it will need to be ready. Let's have an opinion of the panelists, Dr. Yeah. Rahul. Yeah, no, I, th I, I am, uh, you know, it looks like that it might be just more than 5.5, and maybe we can avoid sending. If there's a good uh, site for placing the stent in the uh, osteal LED, proximal LED, then we can just leave it if the MLA of the uh, uh, the left main is uh, better than 5.5 or 6. So okay. That's what I would do. Otherwise, okay. if it's not a healthy area in the proximal LED, I might cover the uh, left main to LED as well. Okay. Yeah, Dr. Suresh? Uh, I need an imaging before deciding whether to what to do. I need an imaging before that. No, no, imaging we are doing. Now, our goal is that based on the angiogram, do you want to make a prediction? That's the question. No, imaging, of course, uh, with the decision will be made with the imaging. But I don't know whether you saw the angio. Let me just show the angio once. Uh, so let's go back to one second. The question is, we are taking the vote that based on the angio. So will it be 5.5 minus or plus? That's what the question is. This is the angio. Yeah, it's just an eccentric plug. Let's have an opinion from Dr. Siddharth Chan. Yeah, you are, you are mute. You are muted. Your microphone is not working. Can you? Yeah, we can now? now. Take the pacemaker out. You don't need pacemaker, no, please. No, he wants it. Leave it. Bad. No, please. Looks bad. 
Dr. Sajan? Yeah, I think... Uh, yeah, can you, uh, can you hear me? VL354, yeah, what did you give me? Yeah, diagnostic cut should be around the size, must be 6 French, so I think okay, okay, it's maybe 4, 4.5 millimeter. Okay. That's what I see. You say it's a significant? Yep. Uh, no, I, I, the left main diameter, I think it may be around 4 to 4.5 millimeter only, may not be 5 even. Because uh, if you compare with that, that diagnostic catheter, mm -hmm. uh, I, th I believe they have used a 6 French diagnostic yep. catheter. So 5. It was, yeah, no, yeah. diagnostic was 5. It was 5 French diagnostic. But anyway, we are taking guide picture again. You still have a chance to change your vote if you need to. Sir, is it 50 screen? Magnify a uh, little bit. Why is nitro given? Why does you guys change it here? Come here. Dr. Siddharth, hmm? what's your opinion? Dr. Gaurav? I think it looks a significant disease. Ready? Maybe we need to tell them to LED. Touching 50% yeah. disease. So it's a 70 30 poll. In favor Good. of the significant document. All right, let's do it. Let's go with Ivan. That's all you need. You don't need to go further. AP cranial. Okay, do an AP cranial shot. Give me fielder fine cross. And no, no, and direct, direct, direct. No, no, this is a rotor wire you need. Rotor -wire. No, but direct. go with go, the. Go, go. Do with the run through. I was on run through here. Yeah, we'll do on the... Go back to caudal view. Let's Let do I was on the rotor wire. No, no, not rotor wire. The question yes, is sir. I was on the rotor wire versus your run through. Hmm? Let's do it. I was on the rotor wire. You want to do on the rotor wire? Yeah. Get me the fielder fine cross ready. The question was Did you have the fielder? It's a long legion and uh, uh, the multiple curves. So you know what happens sometimes? Your ro rotor wire will go, but with the combination of that sp spring tip with the point zero zero nine, the is two steel uh, wire. Many times it just is, you know kind of uh, is stuck, gets yes, stuck. So clearly that long case probably best to go with the uh, with the fielder and fine cross which you already have uh, for the right coronary. That's what we needed. Okay. Keep going. And now while we are showing the rotor ablation, let's ask everybody experience about the orbital, uh, what it is and will the paper people use the orbital in this case? Yeah, we can uh, yeah. opinion from everyone. Dr. Dhiman is, uh, he is joined. For orbital, uh, I think for osteolation, orbital is good. Because while cutting back, coming back yeah, also, it will cut the osteolation. What is your opinion, Shamil? So, no, but uh, osteal, here, I think the osteal LED is okay. It's already in the distal left main. Yeah, but uh, in and the distal the... left main, it yeah. seems that... Okay. Uh, I think, sir, Ivers can help to find it whether yeah. it's superficial yeah. or not. That is correct. Yeah. And do we have the free area, disease-free area? I think the guide is going a little mm. bit too much. You have to pull back. No, no. The thing is, it's 4 yeah. is too big. Yeah. I mean, 3-5 three 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 yeah. is too yeah. long. Yeah. Good. Yeah. Keep it in this view. No, I hmm? cannot understand. It's I need the a orbital is... It matches both uh, diameter, left main as well as LED. Hmm. So you don't need to worry about the bar size. It will be factored in both LM and also the LED. This case looks uh, convenient for both. Orbital or the rotational, both will work equally well. Yeah. Yeah, so very good point. So this case, uh, we actually have the 1.5 bar. Uh, the question is, could we just use 1.5 or do we have to go to a different bar? Uh, and um, the means increase the upside the bar or secondly uh, the other question comes down that uh, if we need to combine that we can use IVL or uh, cutting balloon so this both of them can be done so anyway so this is the wiring the, some dye, so yeah, no, yeah it's a rota 
fielder and fine cross, very tortuous vessel there. So I'm glad that we did not go with the wire directly because you can go with the rotor wire, but then it will take a lot of time to advance and creating a trouble. Yeah, good. Wire? Okay, we have it, good. Okay. Only issue. Look at the wire bias. Hmm. Hmm? Yeah, we'll be okay. 1.5 bar will be fine. Not bigger bar in this because there'll be a lot of wire bias. No, I was even thinking that we needed a smaller bar. No, 1.5 is good. No, since you have 1.5, you use 1.5 on the right side. Definitely the one, this side is 1.5. No, this is a longer lesion. Yeah. The reason for 1.5 in RCA was even though it was tight, it's a short lesion. This is a long lesion. Hmm. Yeah, that's okay. Anyway, you want to do iOS on this uh, wire? Let's see. No, this I think tip is going to get us a new rotor new, wire. New rotor wire. No, I'll do iOS on the rotor wire. Now, the, but the other question is, why don't you, your, why you wanted iOS for the um, interrogation of the left wing? Left wing, so yeah. Why don't we do it after the rotor? No, 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 you do it now. No, because if there's a calcific arc there, you use the rota also. In this case, if you want to decide the left main, if you want to, otherwise angiographically you can say, you know what, I'm just going to cover it. Uh, that is one approach, but uh, you definitely, in this case, if you want to, you would do it beforehand, yeah. So, okay, so we, what happened is the earlier rota wire tip was gone. So we going with the different uh, second wire is the same uh, rotor wire drive floppy. Uh, the extra support we use our still lesions, maybe ISR, uh, some very distal lesions if your bird does not cross. Now, when you asked the question about orbital atherectomy, they answered for uh, osteal lesions. Hmm. So, so question, I know Dr. Diman mentioned for the osteal. Remember the question remains one, lot of people are providing that crazy uh, approach, uh, the aorta osteal. So regular osteal, uh, both rota and orbital are fine. But if the aorta osteal, and we actually have published that, uh, that aorta osteal, uh, that I, OA is not a right one. So what people say, yeah, you know what, we can advance manually, kind daughter to the osteal lesion and then activate uh, the bar after. Uh, goes inside the uh, lesion and then come back because knowing that it co will cause ablation both backward and forward. I mean, I say that, yeah, that's a good idea, but it's a little crazy idea. You have other de device which works very well in the osteal lesions, aorta osteal, and that will be your rotational atherectomy. Uh, but yes, if somebody has to use it because that's the only thing available, uh, the question is because the vertical movement of the uh, road, uh, of uh, our uh, crown, which we call IVL, will be limited, usually limited by the vessel's uh, uh, circumference, and in the osteal lesion, it will be in the aorta, so it can cause more kind of dissection. We had that in the beginning. Yeah. Our fourth case of the osteal left main created a significant dissection, uh, but then patient did, uh, after the stent de deployment, patient did fine and even followed later on has been good. I pull the wire a little bit. So this is now, uh, I was going on the rotor wire. So see that co complex, the even, it is not going. So it's not going. I told you that. that no, that's, that's what I'm saying. Should have done with the... No, it's nothing to do with the wire. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's a significant disease. Okay. That's, can you see the left vein yet or no? Yeah, it's a bit bad before the uh, lesion. Before the, the lesion? Yeah, oh. didn't cross the tight lesion. Yeah. No? Yeah, yeah, but, yeah, uh, yeah. It's not. Okay. No, okay. That's fine. I can you're in the okay. lesion now. Start to work. It's coming. Yeah, it's no. 360 no, 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 no. calcium. Okay, okay, yeah, yeah. yeah I good. know, I know. Out, out. Take it out. We don't yeah. need it. But uh, what's the. Yeah, so tell us the. CSA, the cross sectional yeah. area. It looks large. 5.6. 5. <laughs> 5. Hmm? 5.6. Yeah. 5.6. Even here, 5.6, it's less than 6, so it's uh, significant. Yeah, so people, you know, uh, in our. Uh, uh, the. 
Hmm. It's 360 costume. Yeah. In the Excel trial, we make it six. So clearly the significant is just at the border of 5.6. So we need to yeah. take care of that. So that became, you want to quarter view or this view? This view. Clean. Everything flush it, clean, and let's get the rotor bar. So we'll use the same rotor bar. And we have the have stent also. We have same trio stent. And huh? then uh, what balloon? The same trio balloon? Same trio. Trio balloon, yeah. Have the oh. run-through wire and trio balloon ready? No, not yet. Later. Dr. Kinney, how much was the burr time on the RCA with the same burr? Burr time, uh, I have one fifty seconds. Yeah. So we have enough room still. So basically uh, about uh, 300, uh, the data has shown that you can do up to 300 seconds of ablation. Uh, after that, it's uh, the, because you know, the, the diamond chips, they embolizes and can denude it, particularly in very calcific and also in the ISR. So that's shown by electron microscopy. Uh, so 300 seconds, according to David Auth. So we asked him that question. He said 300 seconds is the good ablation time for the bar. If you need to go beyond, you have to change the bar. Because by the time, diamond became totally rough. Okay, ready? Yeah. No, no, off diamond. Good, good. As you see that the uh, Rota Pro machine comes fixed with a 155 uh, RPM. So that's where we are now. We are going to push and pull. Rota floppy wire. And it was a very significant lesion of the LED that uh, I was did not cross, but particularly on the Rota wire. Because it's a very sick, tight, so the, it's a tram track. Good. Okay, so I'll stay here. Yeah. Now one five bar. Uh... Show the steps. So we are same is burke and jump here. So we're good to go um, remove all the tension of the rota before we start burring. So if you see here, you have the knob. Yeah. Move the knob backward forward. Any tension between the Teflon sheet and the burr is gone. Y connector again back forth the tip of the burr and the wire. Any tension is gone. The last one is on Dyna. You do a tap. You see that the burr never moved. Now we are ready. The yeah, one five bar is likely too small for the left main. Show the hemodynamics also. No, they had to show the hemodynamics. Pressure is a little low. No, that's the way it was. It no, was no, but lower. we need to get 100. Okay, show the uh, hemodynamics. Good. So give a little push. Yeah. Fluid has been. Uh, Okay, the pressure, remember we said, do not do ablation when a systolic pressure in double digits, now it's 100 plus, go. Yeah. Pecking motion, you see that? Come, touch, come back, touch, come back, but then come back, it doesn't uh, come back too much. There's a drop, uh, you can hear the drop in the RPM also a little bit. Give some more Neo. So that is the difference in the orbital versus rotational. Orbital, you can have a constant forward motion, knowing that uh, you need to have timing, because 25 seconds will make the noise. With the rotational, you have packing motion, gradually advancing, but with the packing. Just one thing I'd like to add here, is like Dr. Jimmy showed those amazing movements on uh, how to make sure that there is no play in your burr. So especially in cases when, whenever we start burring and the calcific portion is very close to our guiding catheter, we should be absolutely sure that we don't start burring with some play in the rota because as soon as we start burring, it may just get caught up in that proximal calcium. That's and so absolutely, yes. Means so you start burring from the guide. Guide. Uh, yeah. Can we increase the volume? We cannot hear what they're talking. Good, keep going. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. So clearly, the le this lesion is even tighter than any. Although angiographically, it looks that way, but no, it's not even that. You see, yes. start seeing some EKG changes yeah. also. 
yeah, fear. This is more tortuosity and so. So, and we know that our catheter did not go beyond uh, the, although, no, this one we were no, able no, to get a fine we cross. Were able to get Only the IVAS didn't go. Yeah. IVAS didn't go. The other yeah. one we yeah. were able to That's do okay. in the RCA did not yeah. go, yeah. but it was a shorter lesion. Right. So, we knew 1 5 will do. That's why I was wondering here, would, should we have needed a 1 2 5? Just okay. because it's a very long lesion. Anyway, so we've done almost half of it. So, when I start, I come back where I stop. Same. Now, other thing is that, and let's see how it behaves. Do, should we go higher speed? Yeah. And uh, from my left hand, I'm holding the guide. Hmm? Mm. Go a little high speed. Yeah, so, okay, let's go to 170. No, no, <laughs> 160 first. Okay, once you go, just a little higher. See some ST changes yeah, there, yeah. which is normal, yeah. yeah. Okay, 160. And then I'll change the wire position, direction, just with a brake release. You want to go with 1.25? Yeah. Let's go 1.25. Good. Okay. So now That's we have done a total of... 1.25. Uh, 220 sec yeah 220 230 close to uh, like 150 yeah, seconds so yeah. far so yeah. no i'm telling total for no. them yeah. For today. Yeah. yeah so then i think um, the way the main reason is you can see that we are uh, not able to advance further now could we go to 170 and try we can but i think it'll be a lot of heat generation and already you see subtle st changes it's telling us the vessel is not tolerating it so we likely should uh, downgrade. Yeah, yeah, definitely. No question on that. Yeah. We tried five times at that level. Because, you know, continuous will create more slow flow, uh, more data, same. Because of the wire bias, it can go a little more extensive dissections and so. So I think to change into a 1.25 bar is reasonable and there's no other option at this time yet. Everybody agrees on this strategy. I know we could have gone a little further, uh, but we had tried five times, uh, five or six times with a little higher speed uh, up to 165. And uh, so did not go. So we just decided to change it to a 1.25 bar. Now question will be once 1.25 is done, do you need to go to 1.5? That uh, I think will decide based on how the reacts to the balloon. So yeah. we always do leave the wire on the side, uh, dilate with the balloon uh, uh, on side by side. And if the balloon does not open, then you go upgrade to 1.5 because rota wire is there, you remove your wire. So basically, that once you advance the sheath on the connection all the way, try to separate. So it's separated. So it means that you are not connected with the notch. So we have to go back again. Yeah. Blue, you can see. Yeah, yeah. Now, I know that in India, they're still using our old Rota legacy, uh, and Rota Pro is available, but it's a little more expensive. Uh, but apparently, that will be discontinued very soon. Any questions so far? What is the maximum speed you have ever used? Uh, even if Two, the 1.5 is not... 200. Going at 180. Yeah, we, yeah, we are never gone beyond 200. Okay. Twice we I had to go uh, to one 2.35. I think beyond that, chain doesn't go, sir. Huh? Ah? He's saying he went up to 230. 235. But, the highest uh, uh, that uh, ever used. Yeah. See what the recommendation is: 130 to 180. I think you should never yes, try beyond the 180. 180. No, but 200 Japanese people use Japanese goes to 20 all the time. Yeah, quite commonly stay above. Yes, so that's why yeah. there are. Uh, mm, yeah, right. No, no CKMB changes. <laughs> yeah, so yes, I mean, can go to higher speed. Uh, clearly, uh, that has been shown that lower the bar speed, efficiency of the bar goes down. So that is how he came up original 
Remember the original data was 160 to 180 for birth size of less than 2 and about, uh, sorry, uh, 160 to 180 for birth, birth size uh, more than uh, 2 and 180 to 200 for birth size less than 2. So clearly was that bigger the bird, the smaller, lower the speed. And the smaller the speed, uh, the smaller the bird, you can a little higher. So according to David Auth, originally for 1.5, 1.75 bird, it was 180. Uh, sorry, uh, 200. And if, uh, yeah, and then you get uh, into the smaller, uh, the larger bar, uh, you go to 180 and so. Now we have changed it uh, to the same clip and check the speed once again. Go. 150. Good. No, no, go up higher. More, more, more. Nothing is not connected. No, connected. Don't worry. Connected. Go. Yeah. So this always what happens. So the, what happens is once you connect, make sure your connection is good. It makes a little different noise. People get very much concerned whether it's a connection or not. So you have to be very, uh, once you know that you are connected and you try to separate. Transmission of, uh, yeah. it's not there. Yeah. That, uh, that is, you cannot separate, then you are good. So, but noise will be a little different. So don't be alarmed by the different noise. Uh, once you have added the bar, uh, okay. Good. Okay, same three steps. We are going to do again. So, what speed are we planning to go at with 1.25? Yeah, let's see. We go to uh, right now. We have 160, and then we'll go to a little higher. Go. Yeah. Yeah. 160. Yeah. Okay, now you saw that it made a little movement. Yeah. Yeah. And it uh, stopped at uh, 20 seconds. So clearly it uh, took about uh, 22 seconds to cross. Weight pressure is good and then go back again. I think they're good. Coming out. Yeah. Good. Good. Okay, ready? Get the run through wire. No, no, why? No, we should have to 1.5. Should we? Yeah, huh? it looks like. I mean, should we use 1.5? Yeah, 1.5. Mm -hmm. We made a space. Now we should go for that. I think uh, no need to do one five, but let's do the IVAS. Yeah, no, not IVAS. You put a wire side by side. The no, IVAS no. will not tell anything. Let's open with the balloon, moderate pressure. If it does not, then we do ready with the 1.5. But uh, uh, there's such, so much uh, calcium, we should be able to s tell with IVAS. Yeah, and uh, we can check the stent sizing, the lesion length, or if you want. Get a bar back. Okay, with the run through wire. Yeah, so key is we leave the rotor wire there. And let's go to the rotor wire side by side. If you want to do IVAS, you can do it on this wire. Because uh, I think the rotor wire will not give you good support. Uh, and if you do IVAS doesn't go, it won't help us much. If you want to do IVAS on rotor, the, your run-through wire is okay. Uh, but I would say go with the balloon. You have 3 -o. Yeah. No, 3 -o. 3 -o. Let's see. Uh, knowing that the uh, IVAS now with the European Society became class one indication, I'm sure a lot of people will say, let's do the IVAS now, then decide, right? Yep. Good. Yeah. Remember the no, key... No, never took a picture. Okay. So we can decide the key is where, where do we balloon? Okay? Yeah. Okay, so I think we should stop. No, you we, go one. Before. No, 48. No, no, no. 48 all the there. No, I understand. We'll come again, uh, one. Before the dag. 2.75. No, I have to go. There's a legion after. 90%. No, we go with the 2.75, 48, and proximally dilated with the 3.25. 
Anyway, we are putting a balloon now, three of balloons, right? A long legion. Bring the inflator, we are going to go negativeness. Whether three or used one will go or not. So that's equivalent to IVAS. No, three or we are used to may go here. Yeah. So that is what we do. So question is, no, what is a... Don't connect the deflator. Don't connect. We wanted to go negative first, anyway. Negative with the syringe. Okay, go with the syringe, yeah. So key is, so that is what, uh, there's nothing wrong in going to 1.5 bar, but now it's same. You have to connect again, and so, so if you get able to open, because even 1.25, as long as it has made a cut in the in interelastic uh, membrane, your uh, balloon will expand, and for your stent will expand. Uh, and this balloon will tell us whether it goes, not goes. If that means that we probably need to go to 1.5. Are you ready to connect 1.5? No, no, go up here, dilate here. This is the huge balloon. Okay, good. And we have decreased the profile. Okay. So I have a question. There was yeah. a 360 degree calcification in the yeah. left main as well. Are we going to do yeah. something for that? Yeah, so question will be that after, that should we combine it with the IVL to make some extra cuts? Uh, because the imaging study of our own, which was just presented in European, that you have more cuts with the IVL compared to any of these atherectomy devices. And that was more so for the calcific noodle, but otherwise also. Uh, this is not going no, to this work. This is a used balloon. Used balloon, yeah. So you want to do a... Give me a 2.5, 20 high pressure. 20 will not go. Then, I will not go. Then which 20. one? 12. Okay, 2.5, 12. There is a lot of wire bias, which is also not allowing the balloon to go forward. I think wire bias would be good to burn the left main. Yeah. Even then, the... You saw the left main, MS is so big. What's the diameter of the left main? There's no one fiber would not do anything. Yeah, Nobody MLD will be cut. Two point three. No, it's not going to. Yeah. Both that main, Fire no bias is only what in LED. Connect, we have to separate. You mean? What is that? This is the 2.512. Go. Let's go. 2.30? Yeah, 2. Minimum uh, is almost 3.0. Yeah, 2.3 and 3.0. Yeah. So remember, the question always comes here. The lumen is this, and you are using this small bar. That's okay. We don't want to worry about the rest of the lumen. If even wire bias, you have, as long as you made a cut in the interelastic lam lamina, everything will expand. Remember, that used to be the mechanism of the DCA. So it's not going to go. So that's okay. Don't do go further. Let's do 1.5 bar. We are ready. Take this out. So, oh, okay. Same thing was RC also, so just reorient, yeah, yeah. get it in. Okay. Okay, so you're opened. Nicely opened. Yeah, go further. So just want to say, make sure our audience knows about that, that even if your lumen is bigger and you are using a smaller bar, the purpose there is that you need to make an eccentric cut in the internal elastic membrane, so then your balloon dilatation will do the job expanding the vessel. And that was the mechanism of the lumen yeah. enlargement with DCA, which is not available now. It was not that we remove the plaque. Plaque removal was only 40%. 50-60% of the mechanism of the DCA, directional coronary aspect yeah. in the coronary, the was that you are cutting the internal elastic membrane. Yeah, let if me go. I don't want to go there. No, here, here. No, there is a lesion. After dying, yeah, here. So, so that, uh, it is the interlast, so the vessel will expand and will be able to okay, dilate. get the IVAS now. You want, or we just stent and then IVAS? Okay, I think it's stent and then IVAS. <laughs> That's IVAS. So hmm? Kiski will tell us. Okay. What to do. The, do, do you want to remove the, uh, the rota wire now? Because now we know after this balloon, we are not going to use the rota. Sir, up to what extent of dissection you will 
still prefer to go with the rota after violent dilatation. Yeah, so, that, yeah, so very good point. So question comes is, if you, do you NHBLI uh, dissection categories A, B, uh, C, I mean 1, 2, 3, or A, B, C, A, F, you know. Uh, so basically, A is a little uh, interluminal filling defect. B, your little diastasis on the outside, but washes out. D3, it stays there. And of course, the 4, uh, start uh, getting the, uh, the spiral dissection, 5 is the interluminal filling defect, total occlusion, and 6 is the chronic. So basically, I would say up to 3. Uh, acute up to 3, you can do it. Is uh, 3 is not a problem. Even little diastasis there, uh, what we will do, that in that case, you put a, uh, that don't try to put a rotavir there. Rotavir has to be by the side. Uh, I mean, by over the wire system, uh, so that you are not going to three intimal flaps, uh, and it's completely okay to do it. So now, nice. uh, IVAS goes very well. We can remove the rotor wire. Mm -hmm. I mean, if you're putting a 48 stent, it's not going to go. Okay. Well, okay. All right. Make the IVAS onto okay. the main screen now. It's in the middle of the legion, but anyway, I start full work. It's eccentric cause plug. It's coming. Okay, now. Yeah, it's good. That's a yeah, normal, normal looking area. Interesting. Some branch. Yeah, 360 calcium, some uh, shaved calcium. Yeah, left main. And Kiski, show us where any cuts. Yeah, yeah. Do we see the fracture of the calcium? Yeah, yeah I saw that. Show to the audience you and... Uh, sure. Yeah, so, on, so, I start from the proximal part. This is the body of the left main. And I go to this distal. Get the yeah, stand ready. Actually, this is a distal left main. Still, we didn't cross before, but now the titus is 4.6 and are still... 360 calcium. Yeah, it, keep it, it there. So clearly, you see that now? The, the cut's there. So now, once you cut the interelastic membrane, your stent will expand. Yeah, this kind or of like a expand. surface of the calcium is shaped in the yeah. proximal LAD. So, yeah, proximal LAD, I think it's a good plug modification. Yeah, even by the IVAS, some kind of fluctures in the proximal LAD. So we'll go with the mid left main to the What's, mid what LAD. What do you have? 2.7548. So, I mean, Dr. Sharma, Dr. Kinney, so that this still left me, like uh, even I was so no, like a uh, clear fracture, and yes. uh, still 360 calcium in the distal left me. But we are cuts, right? No, no, no. Hmm? You want yeah. to use IVL? No, no, I mean, I'm worried about your 275 stent in the left main. Yeah. No, but that's okay. You go to 3.75. One millimeter can be enlarged without any problem. No, I know, but. You uh, cannot go up to four. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, go to the left main. I want sure. to see the. Diameter, the, yeah, so yeah, this is the body of the like a yeah, normal that's the part. Proximal. Even yeah. the lumen is 3.7, maybe four low stand we can. Oh. I mean, post the no, addition but we that's can. The proximal at the, the, the okay, disease area. The, doesn't matter. Go to the disease area. Yeah. Hmm. And the 48 is gonna be like around here. And uh, this part because is you like don't a. You want to overlap. Yeah. Yeah, like at a 275, like a 3 year old 275 so vessel. Do, like do the proximal LED and we'll put a, a 3.5, 12. Uh, into the proximal LED to mid left main. Mm -hmm. Go, go. This, this is a long, long. Yeah, no, because legion very long. We had to go to up to three o'clock position. Even then, I think it's too yeah. long. So, question was the one, the From disparity. The austral LED. Yep. Give the length up to the, after the diag, di after the diag. Sure, so now I see the circ from the uh, 10 o'clock. Or where the legion started, let's put yeah. this way. Yeah, right. and uh, I think this is the D1. The so-called normal, yeah. So, austere LAD to the D1 is 31 by IVAS. See? So, you want 38 then? Yeah, I knew it's too long. Okay, get a 2.75, okay. 38. You want to try it anyway? No, no, that's fine. Go to 38, then fine. 2.75, that's okay. Better to change now yeah. rather than there. 2.7538. Well, you agree, but a 275 should not be in the left main. No matter okay. what, how much you post, it's not going to give us a 4 yeah. or lumen. Mm. You can make 3 also, sir. 3, 4, 3, 3, 4, 3, 4, 3. No, what is the distal vessel size? So ju just after the D1 is like a 3 O vessel. Oh, it's a 3 O. Just after the D1. No, Do you want to put a 3 O then? Yeah, yeah. give no, us no. that. Give us that. Don't three go with I know, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And then uh, why don't we put a 4 in the left main? Yeah, that's fine. LED. Yeah, proximal LED. 4 for 12 or 15? Yeah, 12. 4 12 also. Good. So this don't will. Don't open yet. Yeah. 4 12, 4 16, bring both, and then we'll decide depending on where we place this. Okay, good. 
So are you comfortable taking a Orsiro which goes 1.5 up as they claim with the newer data? Yes. At 3.5 <laughs> can be done up to 5. Believe me, the orbit, every company comes and they say the same thing. <laughs> Yes, sir. Uh, yeah, I know, but, but I think they can go. To me, uh, remember it's this whole area of the vessel covered by the metal, and Orsiro actually will have a less metal, in my opinion, uh, because of the thinner strut. Uh, so I would definitely go our rough rule of thumb. Don't go beyond one millimeter. So 2.75 should not go beyond 3.75. Okay, if the vessel is more than 3.75. Yeah, Let's no, see. but first here. Yeah, okay, good. Yeah, good, good. Right? Yeah. Okay. Now, now we need to see there. there is a room there. So important cordially that we do not overlap, right? Okay. Good. Go. Okay, yes. So then we 16. can put a 4 or 16. 16. Okay. Good. We are going up here. Yeah. No, don't go. And make sure your rotor wire is out. Yeah, rotor wire is out. Get us a 4 or 16 for the left wing. Yeah. yeah don't get and nicely expanded, huh? Yes, yes. That's one thing I've seen with Synergy. Yeah. They behave very well in calcific lesion. Just look at the RCA. We didn't have to post dial it. Yeah. It, as much as possible, they take the contour of the stand because of the thin strut. Contour of the vessel. Yeah. Just a few millimeter only, and then we'll post this. Ostium, we once you put a second stand, always open the funnel. Yeah, yeah. Uh -oh. no. You know, I don't do that. Yeah, good, good. Just leave it there. Yeah. Here you can go 24. Okay, down. Hmm? What do you do? They destroyed it. Get a new one. Can we get another? Oh. <laughs> Should we consider the wire into the circle also? Yeah, yeah, question is, should you put a wire in the circle? That's a very, very good question. Okay, you can ask people how many people will put the wire, right? Hmm. Okay, take a picture, SS. I can tell you our fellows yes, are very good. Exactly. They, they teach us every day something every day new. Something new. <laughs> <laughs> I think that strength has to go back to the company. Macerated stent. The okay. stent became the wire. <laughs> yeah, go. Yeah. So question is, look at the ostium of the circ is good. Uh, so leaving the wire position or not, uh, by, that's the plus minus. I mean, uh, most of people will do. I will leave it also. Uh, but Anu is usually against, uh, uh, you know, the wiring. Uh, there's some data to support that leaving the wire itself cause less side branch closure, okay. but there has to be some disease. There's no disease here at all, if you see here. But to ask how many people would yeah. leave the wire. So let's say, some, yeah, you know, no, I... someone asked the question, that are we going to do it? So they're basically, that's a valid question. So let's find out uh, from our panel or anybody, if there's a voting method uh, in our chat yeah, box. So we, can, uh, we can find it from the panelist. Yeah. So for yeah, me, man. I will not put wire. It's a widely open circumflex ostium, not, not much of a disease, and the angle is quite wide. Between already circumflex is a wide angle. I don't think there is significant compromise after putting a stent across. Okay. Let's so have an opinion from Dr. Prasad. I think I would not put a wire. Good. There's no disease in the ostium, so I would not put a wire. Hmm? Perforation. Uh -huh. yeah. In the vessel because of 24 atmosphere. Okay, go. Take a sine. Quickly, sine. Sine. That's okay. Let's do it and okay, finish it here. Yeah. Okay. Come here a little bit. Okay, some die. Some die. Probably Good. not. Probably not. It's just a Good. die staining from the... Yeah. Go. Die staining from the septal. Yeah, yeah. Septal. Hmm. Okay, this is a 4016. Don't go too crazy. 14 atmosphere. Down. Now get us a 408. Eight. 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 Okay, down. So we are 2.75 balloon. Uh, then because it was a 3 vessel they were talking about. Yeah. It's not matter. Yeah, that's fine. It's, so a, thin, it's a thin start stand. Go yeah. take a picture. No, don't do this. Why? Okay. Mm. There's the septal. So there is a little slow flow in that septal, 
although there is no EKG changes and patient has no symptoms at this time. But uh, let's dilate the left main, do the IVAS, and then we'll be ready. Because five minutes, we have to go over uh, a discussion of the topics. And actually, Anu, in the end, we'll talk about the... No, no, not end. Early. Yeah, whenever. Yes. You're ready, you get to your room, and we'll get you early. Okay. Uh, log in. Okay. And uh, uh, about the AI in the cath lab, and particularly in the imaging. So now question comes, if you cannot op ex expand the left main stent, uh, so what you do? Uh, IVL, 4 IVL ready? Okay, so l go here, but yeah. uh, you see that it's just eccentric calcium. Yeah. But at the same time, this is the area with the balloon only can cause more perforation. And it was not the nodules. Nodules are done. notorious for perforation. You have to go a few millimeter in. Yeah. This is done. And this was not the nodule at least, it was the concentric lumen. Okay, yeah, go. good, yeah. yeah. Sixteen, looks good. Yeah. Down. No need, no need. I was ready. Ivas. Flush and ready? Flush and ready or not? Yep, yeah, ready. So that was. Yeah, notice this with this white connector, all is lost. Look at that. So the circ remains good. The new white connectors are like very. Okay. Okay, I was. Yeah. Yep. I was. Uh, that's it. So we've shown the NGO. I was looks good. Then we are done with the case. Do we show up? Provisional up? Do we show? We show provisional up. Oh, you didn't show the. Yeah, we can show the provisional app. Yeah, provisional app. Yeah. We'll play the second one, yeah. provisional left main app on the top. Bring the iOS on the right side now. No, no iOS later. Let them play the thing. No, 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 no. Start from the beginning. They did. No, was it? Hmm. Can you go full screen? Okay. We start from the beginning and go full screen. Yeah. Good. No, no, no. Start from the beginning. Do you know how to start from the beginning? Yeah. No. No, wrong. I thought Kiski is going Kiski to help. Kiski, help them. No, it's started. No, no, no. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <coughs> this is think of that rota has been done. <laughs> so in this, the, you left the wire in the circ. No, the, remember the way <laughs> we say is you have to assess the plaque shift. Block shift was not there so in the beginning, so that's how we left it. So we do pot, then recross. We can stop here because then we go further because of this block shift. Then you have to kiss if there's block shift. Yeah. Okay. Let's go to the IVAS. So the question was that if there is no plaque shift, let's put the IVAS on the main. That should you do a kissing balloon? Remember the original XL trial, uh, we, was not the, we found the kissing balloon with the provisional at the long term had a little trouble, stent thrombosis 0 0.07, three years, four years follow up. But in the EBC main, it's an every okay, case okay, okay, they okay. did a kissing balloon. Yeah, start, start okay. work. yeah it's coming. Native vessel, eccentric calcium. Yeah, edges on the plaque, but no major dissection. Yeah, look, looks good area. Here's kind of under. Right branch. Yeah, I will check again. Now come to left main. Yeah, kind of a deep engaged good. guide, but you can take it out. Is that any area of uh, under expansion? Yeah, I will show you. 
I found some. No, uh, like yeah. we have in the OCT, does the AI immediately tell you there is parts of area that's not under expanded? No, but I can I check mean, by right. level right. of the diagonal, yeah. Yeah, that's the side branch, remember? That's not yeah, but side branch. no, no, this is a cause for region, like kind of irregular. And a stent is not fully opposed here. Ooh. Yeah, only this part is like, and uh, actually the stent area is like a 4.1. That's at the level of the diag? Uh, no, before the diag. Oh. I think that's where we were, our rota was, you know. Mm. But left main is good? Left main is good, great. Left main, like, along here, like, yeah, not the perfect round shape because of the 360 calcium. Actually, area is kind of under, yeah, two, less than eight. But, but if we call it uh, this uh, left main, more than seven is good. So maybe it's optimal for the left main. Proximal edge? Edge, actually, we didn't see because the deep engage guide. Oh. Yeah, only the issue is the this part of blocks the meat part, like kind of eccentric. We have 3.25 balloon, which no, you no, can... No, no, That's, no, no. Let's go 3 -o? 3 -o. Okay, get a 3 balloon. Okay. All right, so I think we can done here. No, we, we, I don't think we need yeah. to show. Everybody agrees? Uh, uh, take, well, let's take the wire. Go put the angiogram now. One second. Let them go to angiogram. Stick the wire tip. Okay, good. They're ready. Okay, ready. I'm not posed. Okay. It looks very good. But at the level of the diagonal, right? It uh, require a little balloon dilatation yeah, with a 3 balloon or 2.3. We have 3 balloon there. Just do it and that is all we needed. So if, if everybody agrees, we stop here now from uh, our procedure point of view and we start our discussion, uh, which I think uh, uh, who is uh, directing uh, uh, Sanjeev or so, yeah. any other comments or any other point, explanation on this particular case? It was an excellent demonstration of left main three vessel calcified disease, mm. starting with the RCA, which was uh, looking very discreet, but it a uh, very tough catch required uh, your change with the micro catheter and uh, subsequently to directly with the rota wire and uh, very nicely done uh, talk modification of RCA followed by left main two LED and. Uh, Although the left main distal stand look a little underexpanded, but uh, at times we have to, it's a kind of trade-off between the perforation if you go a little higher on the left main part and the middle lady, uh, stand uh, going to post that just now. Yeah. Overall, it was a very excellent demonstration of how we can handle such a calcified left main three vessel disease. Thank you very much. Uh, we can have a comment from uh, any of the panelists. Uh, Dr. I Kali. think all the steps were very well demonstrated, very excellent presentations, a lot of learning. Yeah. Uh, about how to uh, do a rota uh, well and all those steps, all the precautions need to be taken and how to uh, go step by step with every moment. So how does the imaging also help in decision making? And enough, enough. so I think it was in it. All right, guys, I'll see you in five minutes now upstairs. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.